What's the best way to travel on a back road in the West? Well, today on At Your Leisure, we're trying it two ways, separated only by the number of horsepower. I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. And I'm Chad Booth. It doesn't matter if you've got one horse or a hundred. The adventure is waiting for you. We'll also talk to one county commissioner who knows the true value of these old dirt roads. From there, Stephen Human discovers a big little town with some amazing potential for outdoor thrills. Own the outdoors with AYL. Trails. Welcome to At Your Leisure. I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. Heck, I thought you were day 11s. <laughs> I'm Chad Booth. Today we are in beautiful Kane County in the southern part of the state of Utah. The anchor town here is Kanab. It is a place that is a paradise of outdoor recreation. It's beautiful up here. Everyone needs to come up here. It's gorgeous. And we have chosen to go horseback riding today as part of a day of different ways of getting around the county. You'll discover it during our half hour. It's wonderful. It's a great place to raise a family. It's so open, so many opportunities, and so many ways to keep kids busy and out of trouble. Well, you've taken a beautiful ride all day up this area, both by horseback and by ATV, and I think both parties had a fantastic time, discovered some wonderful area. Every turn is something new, it seems, because we have a chance of seeing, maybe going down a little different trail, seeing something new. I didn't really enjoy coming with the old timers that know the area and can point out something that might I might have missed before, like a petroglyph or the dinosaur footprints or something that is just spectacular. Went up Johnson Canyon, which is about uh, 10 miles east of Kanab, and we went about five miles up Johnson Canyon and parked just off the pavement on the Nephi Pasture Road. It's kind of a sandy road with a lot of scenic areas that we passed through, and we were able to look at several scenic sites. Uh, Inchworm Arch is a favorite one of mine. Inchworm Arch is two arches together, a small arch and then a larger arch that is connected and it actually looks like an inchworm that's going across the sand. And across the canyon, there's also a Indian granary with a rocked up wall in the same area. So that's pretty neat too. Just got thousands and thousands of acres that all have uh, scenic iconic things on them. And so if you talk to some locals, you can find out some good places to go. And if you want to get here by horse, you follow 89 east out of Kanab about 150 yards past mile marker number 49. Head north about four miles. When you get to the big pasture, you're there. Mount up and head up. We're here with McCray, who uh, has kept up with the other horses on his own custom-built, custom-sized horse. I do want to talk about one thing. Now, when you guys are out there and you are riding along on your ATVs and you come across a group of horsemen, do the, do the neighborly thing. Pull over, stop, shut off the engines and wait for the horses to come by. On the other hand, guys on horses, when the ATVs stop and pull over, don't take forever in a day to get past them. If we all kind of work together, we can enjoy public lands and multiple use, and everybody can have a good time out here. Well, it's great to get out of the office or out of your place of work and just get out and smell the fresh air and uh, look at the scenic landscape. It really helps uh, relieve the stress in your life and uh, give you a fresh perspective. We have got a lot to cover today. Right now though, it's time for us to go to this week's story. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We're here on Siemens Point and we have just taken a terrific horseback ride and we're in Kane County, Utah. Now, we are very privileged to have with us on our ride today, one of the leaders of Kane County, Utah, Commissioner Doug Heaton. You have a beautiful county here, Commissioner, and you've got just really fine people in the community. Absolutely. And um, I, way down there, I see the highway running through, and we got here on a road that wasn't part of the highway. So, Commissioner, what impact do the roads have on tourism here in the county? 
we have beautiful uh, landscapes and uh, if you can't get to the landscapes you can't see the landscapes. So it, it, access to this is so critical and I know there are those who think that we should stand on the outside and look in but I, I, those roads are just critical to be able to get to the places where people really want to see. Yeah. Thanks to Mark Habishaw and some of the the, the, four, the the commission that preceded us, they started this, this uh, they, they realized the impact that, we were, that, we, that the roads would have and then how necessary they were. They were also far-sighted enough to realize that there was an agenda to close roads. And so it's been very important to us and we've even gone so far as to go to court to try and, and secure the access and the title to these roads so that we could keep them open for the public so that they would be able to come and enjoy this. It's very important to us economically. The tourism, of course, is a big thing, but the other extraction industries and the other multiple uses, you know, the four wheelers, even the horses and all of those, all of it is just a big, a big thing. We have ranchers who ranch this, this country. It's not the fragile break it and then it's gone type thing. There are things we can do to abuse it, but, but, there, but our, our, our people have become increasingly increasingly friendly to the yeah. environment. Our, our ranchers have done things to restore the mistakes of the past. The land is getting better and better. We've left a lot of tracks getting up here, but we found some tracks that I don't think were recent. There's, there's a dinosaur raceway right off this point that you can hike to, and it looks like it was a suicidal dinosaur because they go right off the cliff over here. But, um, and also there's some petroglyphs just over the edge, or pictographs, and the Indians uh, told the story of the dinosaur that ran off the cliff. Yes, indeed. Speaking How did they get underneath that tree? Yeah, speaking that's of which, uh, that's my good question for the day. <laughs> it was a really, really short one. <laughs> he did the limbo. He had very big feet, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, right now it's time for us to move on to this week's Trailhead Adventure. And that's what you can expect on next week's show. Now, of course, you should expect that you'll have as good a time as we have if you come down to Kane County hook up with some outfitters like these guys at Perea, come out on a ride and see some of the most spectacular cowboy western scenery you've ever seen in your life. It's a beautiful, beautiful experience. Everybody got to come out here and do it. Now, of course, you want to use the motorized ponies. You can contact the local ATV club or the tourism bureau. They'll put you in touch with people that know the routes out here. You can enjoy that too. Yeah, and the ATV was awesome. So no matter what you want to do, there's something for you here in King County. And those ponies too. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ride that one back. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, we've got to go. But between now and the next time that we all get together, make sure that you get out with your family and friends. Enjoy the great outdoors. At, at your leisure. leisure. All right, I'm getting on the pony. All right. <laughs> so Commissioner, what impact Oh, I'm sorry. That's a great chip. Three, chip. two. Boat shop in Clearfield, and then we. <laughs> you have a message. You have a brand. You have something worth experiencing. What you don't have is an audience. It's time to change that. It's time to partner with the number one outdoor program in the country and show the world what you have to offer. Advertising on At Your Leisure is effective and affordable, giving you an audience that dwarfs anything else out there. Backed by a proven force of outdoor adventure. Contact the AYL team at 801-947-8888. It's time your message was heard. Hey guys, if you like that video, you're gonna to wanna to watch all of our other AYL videos. You're gonna to wanna to like it, you're gonna to wanna to share it, and you're gonna to wanna to subscribe, right? See all the buttons right here? <laughs> this is what you're gonna to wanna to do, click, right? Click, click, click. Click on them, because we have some really cool videos, all kinds of behind the scenes stuff, bloopers of Alicia crashing and stuff. Why are you gonna sell me out like that, Steven? <laughs> so you wanna click all of these things and subscribe to our channel, because At Your Leisure is awesome, and uh, we'll see you here for more videos.